Episode 7 of Season 7 is seemingly all about Andrea Barnes. And apparently, it's given scandal. What's good, y'all? It's your sis Erica Vane coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations. This video is going to be a deep dive into my predictions and thoughts around the Season 7, Episode 7 synopsis. Again, the episode is titled It's Giving, and the synopsis reads, Just when things seem to be perfect between Andy and Jordan, a damaging story about Jordan's past surfaces that not only impacts his campaign, but his relationship with Andy. All right, y'all, I don't really know what the scandal could be. I'm going to try to put my thinking cap on as I am processing this. But y'all know, I already created a video where I talked about if I felt like Andy and Jordan were actually going to make it. And I detail the areas of opportunity as well as some of the strengths of this particular relationship. And for the most part, in focusing on Andy, it just kind of feels like Jordan isn't the one for her. Um, and I think that whatever scandal this could be, it is just an excuse for her to get out of this relationship. It is um, a scapegoat, if you will. I cannot imagine what the scandal would be that would impact the relationship if it has something to do like with the campaign or his past especially given the fact that andy has a sullied past as well your ex is gary borders who is literally becoming the bane of everybody's damn existence he is costing you or like putting you in a position to potentially lose your job again he has physically harmed you uh there are so many things that have happened and no you're not responsible for his action as his victim but you are responsible for the decisions that you made on numerous occasions to return back to this man to uh, enable him to do trifling things like when you took money to try to hide that from Jasmine when you got into the relationship with him and you knew that he was married and you gave him six months to leave her to come and marry you like girl while I get like having standards and like you know non-negotiables I don't actually get pedestalizing yourself and then judging everybody else as if they are beneath you meanwhile you have all of the things that you're trying to keep in your closet and it's just trying to bust out like what what possibly could jordan have done andy that paints him in a different light than you like let me just even let me just ponder on it y'all okay so we know that jordan was in the military we know that he played basketball in college with his little homies like, what, did he take some money that he was supposed to take? Andy, you living in a penthouse bought by a man who embezzled money from his damn uh business. From a man who decided that because he was so jealous of you sleeping with your boss, he was going to hostile takeover and push your boss out of his job all off a of principle behind you belong to him. Like, <laughs> I really am just struggling to figure out what it is going to be about Jordan and his past that just puts this horrible taste in Andy's mouth about this man that makes her like, you know what? I can't be in this relationship anymore. Meanwhile, Gary threw Jasmine off the top of a parking garage, mm -hmm. cheated on her for multiple years. He has two kids, one with autism that he left and you have never heard of again. And you have never even asked about again. Mm, mm. and you were still sleeping with him he had a woman in your bed talking about she was a sex therapist he literally squeezed the life out of you mm, mm. but you came back to life so it's okay 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 like andy what exactly is it that jordan could do that gary has not already done five times over i i'm just very curious like i i i'll i'll wait you know and if y'all want to, you know, the Andy sympathizers in the, in the, in the comments, go ahead and tell me what could you possibly imagine that Jordan has done that has become the complete, you know what? Absolutely not. I got to walk away from this thing after we watch Andy over the course of six seasons, not be able to leave the demon dick attached to Gary alone. At this point, she gives a woman who will go through hell and high water, no Fatima and stay with a man regardless now, mind you, Fatima staying with Zach, minus all of the demon shit that Gary's doing, okay? I'm not saying that Zach's doing Gary, Gary demon things. Fatima is staying through a lot, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm not really understanding. I'm not really processing. And then also, like, what's coming up and even talking about this, right? Okay, Erica, so she has put up with a lot in the past. So does that mean that she has to put up with a lot in the future? No. 
it 100% does not mean that. And I don't want to advocate for that. And I don't want to be perceived as I'm advocating for that. So y'all are 100% right. If that's what you're saying in your head or typing in the comment section, she don't have to put up with the same things that she put up with in the past. The whole point in going through what you've gone through is to actually learn. But has Andy learned? Are we seeing an Andrea Barnes who is actually making different decisions? Are we seeing an Andrea Barnes who actually moves with a little bit more intentionality and like utilizes her intelligence? Are we seeing an Andrea Barnes that is less superficial? I haven't seen it yet. So I also can't like actually back up the fact that she's learned. So that is what's leading me to believe like, girl, you're still the same girl who dated Gary. So what is the thing that's going to make it different for Jordan? It feels a lot like when she was just like, oh, so appalled at Robin pulling her whole facts. Meanwhile, Gary has called you 50 whores, 62 bitches, and you were still riding his, like you was, Andy, we'll go back to season six where he came into your the conference room. Like, he'd be coming up to your job, embarrassing you, talking about you have the worst punani he has ever had. And then you talking about meet me at nine o'clock at my house so that you can compete in the struggle as punani Olympics to prove to him that you got the bomb punani. Meanwhile, he's trash. And you want me to believe that this war veteran, you want me to believe that this man running for city council, you want me to believe that this man who's ready to go tooth the nail and ready to boop, 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 bing, 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 Gary over his sister has done something in his past that cannot be forgiven so much so that you're willing to walk away at the first instance. Meanwhile, we have literally struggled watching you for six seasons and you're literally the same woman that you were then. You just have a different hairstyle. Yeah, mm-mm, mm-mm. Get somebody else to do it because I'm not buying into it, Andrea Barnes. I'm not doing it. Justice for Jordan. I don't even think that y'all are compatible. I don't think that y'all have chemistry, but still justice for Jordan because what you're not going to do, Andrea, is continue to go through life pacifying yourself and your bullshit-ass decisions and then judging everybody else without actually taking what you need to learn from the lived experiences and the negative things that you're experiencing and actually applying it. You don't get to apply knowledge and wisdom to everybody else's life, but then you still get to do goofy shit. That's not how this works. That is giving very much so Daniela energy. Yeah, we don't want that. We want you to give Sabrina. We want you to give Karen. We do not want you to give Daniela energy. We want you to give accountability. We want you to give standing tall on your growth. We want you to give not necessarily regretting the things that you've done, but accepting yourself, accepting the decisions that you've made and actually learning from them, actually realizing when you were dead ass wrong, when you was weak, where you might have been stupid and be like, you know what? I'm never going to be that stupid again. And this doesn't feel like that moment. This doesn't feel like, oh, you're going to walk away from Jordan because you're never going to be as stupid as you were for, Jordan, uh, for Gary, for any other man. This feels like you're cutting off very, very short, just as a knee jerk reaction, which is kind of given defense mechanism, which is kind of given unhealed. I'm just saying, I'm just here to point out what needs to be pointed out. And y'all, that's all we get for the synopsis. Like, it doesn't mention any of the other girls, even though we know they're all going to be in the um, in the episode. So I can't really make any other predictions right now for episode seven. It is going to be heavily steeped in whatever the scandal is for Jordan. And maybe I'm giving Jordan a little bit too much credit, a little bit too much leeway. But those are literally just my thoughts just by reading this one sentence. If you want to read this synopsis or any of the other synopsis that are available, then you can go over to aggravating.com. The link is in the description box down below. Again, I would love to know your thoughts, theories, and predictions. How do you feel? <laughs> um, this is about to play out. If you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. Just keep it respectful in the comment section and like argue the points. You know, it's your good sis you love to talk TV with, and I'm going to see you in the next one.